How's it going guys? My name is Dom and in this video we're going to talk about um, sending a JSON payload using Ajax or an XML HTTP request. So this will all be in pure JavaScript. We're basically just going to send a POST request to the web server and um, for demonstration I'm going to use PHP to actually receive and then convert that JSON um, string into a PHP object. Okay, so um, if you're using Node.js or Python or something different, you'll need to just look up how to actually receive the JSON string and then um, parse it um, using your language. So let's go ahead here and go inside the HTML for this document. It looks like this right now. So we're going to head inside the JavaScript and basically when the page loads up, we're going to fire off the request immediately. Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is we actually have to have an object to send to the server. So let's just go ahead here and make a new object using a constant. Let's call this one to send, okay, equal to an object. All right, we have a few properties here. For example, name as Dominic, uh, age as 35, and occupation as web developer, okay. Cool, so now we have the object, we're going to then um, convert this object into a JSON string. So I'm going to make a new constant down here called um, a JSON string, okay, equal to JSON dot stringify and pass in here the object. So this is a native JavaScript um, method, okay, so it's going to convert this object into a JSON string. So I can now console.log JSON string. All right, I can save this and refresh my browser. In the console, we get this right here. So we're gonna send this to the server. Okay, cool. So let's go back inside here and create the XML HTTP request object. So make a new constant called XHR equal to a new XML HTTP request. Okay, so, um, we have the object here. Let's go down here now and actually start to configure the object. So we're going to call the open method on the object. We're going to use a post request here. And we're going to post it to a PHP file, which we'll call receive.php. Okay, so I'm going to make this file um, very soon. Um, and down here, we're going to now set the request header to say this will be a JSON payload. So you've got to tell the server that it's going to receive JSON. Okay, so we're going to say xhr.set request header. We're going to set the content type header to be application forward slash JSON. All right, cool. I can now say xhr.send. This will actually um, send off the requests. And as the um, request payload or the request body, we're going to pass in the JSON string which we generated before up here. Okay, um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and make this receive.php file inside the same directory as this one here. So we'll call this one receive.php. Inside here, um, we're going to simply just uh, read the request body and then um, convert it to a PHP object. So let's make a new variable here. We'll call this one um, request payload equal to file get contents and you pass in here PHP colon forward slash forward slash and then input. So that's how you actually get um, the request body. Okay. I can now just var dump the request payload or the request body here. Okay, just um, for now, just for an example. And back inside here, we can now save this and then refresh the browser. All right. Now the request has been fired off in the developer tools inside the network tab. We can see here under the XHR um, section, we have received.php. And inside the headers, we can see here that we have um, sent through the request payload. Okay, so. We've sent this right here. Now Chrome has just converted it to an object just for, um, you know, just so you can actually see what it is. But inside the view source, we can see we've actually sent through this JSON string. Okay, cool. And as the server response, the PHP code, 
we get this right here. So PHP has outputted this contents here. Okay, um, so back inside the PHP, we can now convert that string that we sent through, all right, to an actual PHP object. For example, we can make a new variable here called object equal to JSON decode. Okay, it's a native PHP function. We're going to pass in here the request payload. So now if I was to var dump this object, we'll now get the native PHP object um, representation of that JSON. So I can I can just save that and then I can right click here and replay the XHR. So send it off again. And this time in the response, we've got this right here. So a native PHP object. Um, just a quick tip, if you want to convert um, from an object style into an array, an associative array, you can pass the second argument here of true to convert it to an associative array. So I can save this and replay one more time. And now we have an array um, instead of the object. All right, and that right there is how you can send JSON using a post request with an XML HTTP request in JavaScript. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.